all again. How many of you have a superhero that you're really fond of? All right. Who's the be if we got all these superheroes together, who would be the best? Who would be the best to you, Bonnie? Who? Batman? Sam? Thor? 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 We got two votes for Thor? <laughs> Superman? <laughs> two oh man, it's getting complicated. Anybody out there about who wanna shout in and join the conversation? The Hulk. The Hulk, all right. <laughs> Supergirl. Supergirl. Supergirl, okay, she's kinda new. Good boy, all right. My gosh, it does sound like 144,000, yeah. All right. Yeah. Oh, some people like the anti-heroes, that's good. Oh, Robbie Robbins is the superhero. All right. <laughs> It's funny, isn't it? All of us love a superhero. Let me ask you a different question, though. How many of you have somebody that doesn't have superpowers that is a hero to you? Ah, got some of those, too, huh? Yeah. I have a few. You got one? Who's yours? God. Well, I nailed him. That's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Who'd you got? Your mom, all right. Your dad? A nurse. A nurse? Yeah. 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 What? An uncle? Okay, so we got family, we got uh, teachers, people. Who? Say it again. I heard you, but I didn't understand. Not again? Yeah. Okay. I'll tell you what, I have a, there is a hero for me that one time was a member of this very church, because when I was your age, I went here too, and his name was George James. Anybody out there remember George James? Yes. George James, he was, to me, the great hero of my faith, because he lived it. He talked about his faith, and when I was in third grade, he was my Sunday school teacher. I didn't have to make macaroni sheets anymore. I was so happy. All I had to do was talk about the Jesus that he showed us through the Bible. And at 8 o'clock every Sunday morning, he would walk from Woodbridge, New Jersey to here because he didn't drop. Both no rain nor snow, nothing kept George out of here. And he would ring that bell after the 8 o'clock service faithfully. So I have a hero like that. I bet if you were to go to talk to your parents or other adults, they might tell you some heroes in their own lives. People for whom they modeled themselves after, who they strive to be in their jobs, as parents, or just as people. Now today is what day in the church here? All Saints. There it is, right up there, right. And it's All Saints Day. Are saints, who are the saints? Sam, who are the saints? They're disciples of Jesus. Yep, that's true. Were saints perfect? No. no. They were not. If you were to go read a history of the saints who have, you would find out that they were people, as that hymn we just sang says, just like you and me. There are things they got really right. There were things they got really, really wrong. But they kept trying. No matter what. Do you know that today we're going to make a new saint? Anybody believe we're going to make a new saint today? Yes. Yeah? yeah? Stand right there. <laughs> yeah, Saint Sam. <laughs> now, uh, you know, when he becomes, yeah, when he gets baptized, he gets to join the communion of saints. Yeah. Living and not living. <laughs> <laughs> Muscles. <laughs> yeah, we're going to give you some spiritual muscles, buddy. That is right. So, well, do you think Zachary's going to be perfect and just the most well-behaved child ever? Of course. No. Do no. you think I'm the most well-behaved child ever? No. no. You're right. Because I'm a saint. But I know there's something I'm striving for. There's something I always want to be. And... Even in those times when I might fall short, even in those times when I mess it up, I know that in fact, Jesus is still present for me and still sees me as a beloved child of God and saint of God. 
I don't think that any church is ever going to be named St. Father Zone. Probably <laughs> not going to happen. You're right. <laughs> Thanks for the encouragement. I am. But the beauty of it is that even in those times when I don't feel as confident, and I want to say, if only. How many of you have ever said, if only? What's that? Anybody out there ever just had an if only moment? No. <laughs> Think about that. And in the gospel today, Mary said to Jesus, this, gospel, this translation left off the word only, but it's there in others. If only you had been here, my brother wouldn't have died. And I know those kind of if only moments. Those if only I had more time, if only I had more money, if only I was good enough. And doesn't that kind of sound like a pity party? <laughs> yeah. We've all had, anybody out there had a pity party lately? Yeah. And the problem with pity parties is that we get stuck there. <coughs> and the beauty of it, though, is our faith tells us we don't have to stay there. The if-onlys are Jesus' response is, I'm here now. I was here actually all along. I can be there when you're not feeling so great, when you're sad. I will be there when you are feeling like the world is my oyster. But most especially to say, watch and see what happens. And I hope that as you see yourselves as saints, and as you think about the people in your life that are important to you, that you'll strive to be like them, that know that you can be one, but most especially understand that the effort is always worth it because Jesus is calling you to do it. Amen. <laughs>